Watcher, welcome to the channel. Doing another video today. This won't be much of a surprise because you've probably seen what it is in the title already. Today we are unboxing and reviewing the Axminster polishing machine. Let's have a look at this. Get the straps off. I never really polish my tools to a, a mirror shine because I don't like it. I like I like to use my tools, so I don't really have any ones that I really polish up to to a high shine. However, I like to get a better shine than what I am doing on some of them. Let's have a look. Right. Okay. In the top layer, we've got a couple of the buffing wheels. I think they're probably the same ones. Close to the side. Ah, oh, nice. This is smaller than I thought it'd be, which is good because space is at premium, as you know, in this shop. Here we. Axmen to do the trade range, which is slightly higher than the craft, and the craft is like the the home workshop boys range. But in the polishing machine. They only do the craft, so I didn't have much of a choice. However, with the budget I've got, it's pretty much only the craft ones that I'd go for anyway. Right, okay. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I thought it's paint, it's not, it's just a uh, polystyrene. Okay, so that's quite nice. On off swatch switch, it's heavy. Cast iron by the, by the sounds of it. Is that locking? Right, so I'm assuming. Now, I've got to read the instructions. Doesn't come with a lot of stuff. Two wheels, two collets, and four great big washers. I'm assuming the collet goes on there, the washer goes there, maybe not that way. That goes on there. Another washer goes there, and the nut goes back. Whoops! And the nut goes back on. Doesn't come with a spanner, as far as I can see. But that's what I'm going to assume. I've got enough spanners now. I'm sure I can find one. I'm assuming that, as I say, the collet goes on, a washer. I will check the instructions before I turn this on. <laughs> I know that goes against man code. I should probably hand my man card in just for saying I'm going to look up the instructions. But we like to review sensibly on this channel. Okay, in the box you get instructions. It's the AC150BB 150mm buffing machine. Um, standard instructions. Well, would you look at that? I managed to guess the sequence of putting the nuts on properly. That's pretty handy. Standard instructions. Uh, all basic stuff, optional accessories. I bought a few of those, I'll take you through those in a moment. The unit itself, okay, it is 225 millimeters wide by just a tad under 200 millimeters deep. Now, obviously, the 150 mil they are referring to is the width of the pad, so the pads are 150 millimeters wide. Let's show you that here. So the replacement pads have got to be 150mm through that spindle. It's quite well made. It's certainly very heavy. And that's what we want. Let's have a little test run. We'll turn it on. Oh, hold on. Let me tighten up the nuts first. So the nuts take a 19mm spanner. Hold on to this for a bit. Hold up. 
Right, I'll see where this is going. Hold your horses. Got to hold the nut the other end with this while you do it. Nope, that's not right either. So locking that. Well, that was a bit of a struggle. You've got to go against the uh, flow of the pad, of course, when it's turning. But when you I'm done turn this nut, this one three wheels. So I don't know if anyone's got one of these machines. I'm pretty sure Tool Addict's got one of these. If you can put down in the comments, please. <laughs> the best way of tightening these bad boys up. I'd be very much appreciated. Uh, let's turn it on and have a little listen and I'll also put the um, sound meter on and we'll see how noisy it is. Oh, that is very, very quiet. I like that. Much quieter than the, um, the grinding wheel I've got. So about 58 decibels from one foot away. Fifty-six from two feet away, that's not too bad. Turn that off and we'll see what the background noise is. Thirty-six decibels background noise. Okay. Other things I bought. I bought another bag of goodies, which they've sent me. Okay, we'll show you this side. Don't show the other side, it's got my address on. So we've got the tool catalogue. Take the delivery notes out. Same issue there. Okay. So that's a pretty hefty tool catalogue from Axminster there. That's not part of it. So I have Oh, I bought some masking tape. That's just for my kids to do some arts and crafts. I bought, what's this, a pack of four felt wheels. Just standard green polishing wheels, small ones. And I bought pink polishing compound and blue polishing compound for use on the wheels. Obviously I'll have one for blue, one for pink. Then I'll change this out. To one of them i think this is going to be similar results maybe the next step after putting a wire wheel on a bench grinder i don't know i'm brand new to polishing wheels i've never ever used one and i'm learning as i go so bear with me as i'm no expert oh one thing i forgot to mention obviously this has got rubber feet on the underside which accounted probably for how quiet the machine was so a real pleasant surprise there after the noise that you get from the um from the um, bench grinder. Obviously, I'll still wear eye goggles when I use this, but I probably won't need ear protection like I do when I use the bench grinder because that thing is a noisy sod. So, polishing compound, a few of those. Got all this from Axminster Craft. If you don't, if you haven't used Axminster Craft and you're in the UK, Axminster rather, not the craft, uh, I would recommend giving them a go. They do some really good machines and they do some really good kits. I'll certainly be able to look through this catalogue to see what I can't afford to buy. <laughs> this is pretty much the story of my life at the moment. If you've used the machine and you've got thoughts on it, please leave in the comments below how you think your one's performed, whether you like it or not, or if there's any particular wheels or compounds that you recommend I should have that I don't have. Um, whether or not the two wheels I've got I should keep or I should flush one out for maybe keep like the green fiber cloth on it all the time or is there another cloth that I've, i haven't got that i'll be better off changing one of these for my I'm, my ears are open for advice from people that are far more experienced on these machines than i am so i've been using the polishing machine now for a few weeks i've used it for different bits and pieces uh so i can give a little bit more feedback on it so let me take you through that now for me the machine is great i really like the machine 
it's seriously quiet there's almost zero vibration and after using my noisy vibrating uh, bench grinder um, this is a real pleasant change my only gripes and it's not about the machine it's about the wheels the polishing wheels say for example I want to polish up a, a tool this is the one that Ben sent me tool addict when this is spinning if I put this on here it goes between the um the mops because this is four what I would like is a, is a wider one that would just a, a more denser one and wider that didn't have four together so this sort of goes between them and it's really awkward because you don't get the flat part you just sort of get the side so this for me this I don't know it's not a, was it just like a a green rough fiber cloth isn't very good I put this one on the edge of this one just to balance it there um, and again these are not very thick I've seen plenty of videos when people are doing um, polishing when they've got big thick sort of nylon pads um, I don't know, they're 50 mil thick and they've got polishing cloths at about 50 mil thick I think I'd prefer those these ones came with the machine uh, I don't know what that says on there four inch by four lap green no that's come off of this let's come off of that that's what that is um, yeah so the, the machine is great but I wouldn't I wouldn't order these I don't know if this is size or just a polishing pad and again there you know, they, fall, they, they come apart here uh, I don't know what the other ones are like I mean obviously these are many ply but I would go for and I'm gonna change these out for thicker ones thicker polishing pads and th thicker um, uh, I don't know what these pads are called whatever they are you know, you know you're, uh, they're like similar to the scrubbing pads you get the old scrubbing pads for washing your plates up etc so that's my only gripe the machine is great I would highly recommend it but don't buy these standard Axminster polishing pads finishing pads etc have a look at ones they do go for the thicker ones and if they don't sell the thicker ones don't buy them from Axminster find somewhere else get a second um, you know go Amazon eBay etc you know screw fix wherever it is you want to go FFX tools ITS and order some pads from there and then that, that I think the machine will be much better then but yeah so as far as the machine goes it's a thumbs up from me as far as the pads go it's a thumbs down from me I hope this video has been helpful I know when I was looking to buy a polishing machine I did a search on YouTube for Axminster polishing machine and only about two hits came up so there's not a lot of reviews of this machine on there so I'm hoping this helps someone before they make a purchase there's a lot of machines out there but this one looks really nice and I really like the machine it's just it's just those pads are bloody useless so um, I hope this helps someone make a decision good or bad you know give us a thumbs up if you like the video please remember to subscribe it helps build up the channel I've got lots more videos. I've got a list as long as my my videos I want to do. I just haven't got the time to do them. I'll get around to them. Don't worry. And uh, I'll see you soon. See ya. Just a quickie to say it's Armistice Day today, November the 11th. I took a couple of minutes out earlier on to observe the silence, which I think is really important for everyone to do. And I just wanted to say in this message, you know, thank you to all those civilians and soldiers that sacrifice the ultimate so that we could live without the fear of tyranny so thank you very much to all the soldiers god bless you all